Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth installment of the Critical Reflection Syntheses. This week we have two synthesizers, Candice and Linlay, and they'll be giving us their perspectives on the ethical matrices explored as part of Critical Reflection 6. So let's jump right in. Hi, this is Candice. This is my synthesis for our Critical Reflection number six. So the scenario was that we were putting together a public forum and how we can begin to discuss the possible implementation of these brain wave trackers. So we really needed to use the template that we were given that really laid out a, a great design on how we can consider the ethical and moral issues of how technology can be used for education and also the various stakeholders that we would uh, perhaps see at this public forum. And so I put together just a little matrix here on what ethical principles we included. And so you can see here as students, we included a bunch of different principles related to well-being, care or safety, the autonomy, privacy or confidentiality, of fairness, justice, legitimate integrity, fidelity or equity, human rights or societal issues, accessibility, dependability, honesty and trust, beneficence or non-maleficence, a learning development, data and communication, and support, responsibility, or stewardship. So majority of uh, the first three, I think, was where majority of people had uh, focused their major principles on. And then as far as interest groups, so our stakeholders did vary a bit, but the majority of them, again, were based or focused on the students, our class units, the teachers or educators, parents and families, school administrators, districts or institutions, IT technology partners or companies, corporations, government agencies or unions, uh, medical professionals or NGOs, the community at large, which could, which could include that, and then other things such as functionality or impacts or the emotional life. And then how what might this matrix facilitate a discussion about the fit of the brainwave trackers for a school district? So here people just provided a lot of different ideas about this being a um, part of a decision-making model, how it could be a fix, not a fixation, that it perhaps would highlight the dystopian uh, use of the brainwave trackers, that it could be a big brother issue. It may provide uh, awareness and transparency, transparency uh, the matrix would also perhaps bring up some of these controversial issues, but it could show connections, illustrates the issues, maybe showing that it could be a Faustian bargain, but there's opportunities for further discussions. And it would also perhaps look at our societal differences. Perhaps it would show that this might be more intrusive and not inclusive. It's a start of a wider global discussion may focus on cultural relevance. We could gain insight on the commitment of stakeholders. And again, it could just facilitate discussions in general. Thank you. Here's my synthesis. So the first thing is I went and did a word cloud of general themes. So happy Halloween, this is a bat. Then all the keywords are here. Then the principles that people were listing, these are the keywords. Then you can see most the uh, well-being and justice and autonomy, responsibility were some of the main keywords that came up. These are the interest groups that people were mentioning. So students, parents, teachers, school, government, leaders, guardians, um, administration. So some of the things, a lot of people just mentioned students and parents and then schools and instructors. Other people mentioned future generations, technology partners, school district, institutional leaders, government leaders, technology designers, um, school administration, community, political and global stakeholders, educational institutions for the campus, society, community to say country and world, universality, functionality, impact and emotional cost. And so a lot of people mentioned well-being, um, privacy, beneficence, justice or fairness, um, student safety and privacy, curriculum development, um, stewardship of communal resources, respect, responsibility, responsive and resourceful, responsibility, competence and ethical use, um, social justice, equity, um, individual rights, privacy and, privacy and justice, um, non-maleficence, so not harming anyone, um, trust, confidentiality, care, some of the other concerns that people were seeing had to do with um, not enabling harassment of students or discrimination, um, making sure that 
students and the educators had the opportunity to, to evaluate the tech and give feedback on it, um, making sure people are not targeting ADHD students, um, prevent conflict of interest for vendors. Um, students are under parent guidance, so some people put students and parents in one group. Um, also, technology and their, its use should match the school mission. We should think about what vendor we're using. Um, we don't want to give students psychological issues. Um, one thing that the technology could be used for is to think about overall patterns and so to give curriculum um, development assistance rather than testing each student to think about the general patterns. We want to think about is data accurate, is the technique effective, um, make sure the expenditures benefit all groups. Um, potential issues might be that the AI in the U.S. versus China, there might be total differences between the way people um, interact with that because in the U.S. you can't even get people wearing a mask. Um, there's also been some evidence of racism in AI that AI can't recognize people with darker skin and especially Especially black women for some reason. Um, using brain waves as truth is not accurate, like where is the science behind this? Um, also, uh, residents is a good category because citizens can be a problematic term, and then who are the funders? So that's my um, synthesis. Thank you.